You do understand why I didn't tell you, don't you? But you're gonna be giving birth to the twins soon. Oh, do change the record, Bob. Did you really think she wouldn't find out? I thought that I was doing the right thing. I'm, I'm so sorry, love. I know. Come on, let's get you home, eh? Now I'm gonna stop here for a bit. Me too. Thanks. You can't go to work on an empty stomach. Come on, and it won't take five minutes to eat it. Do the eggs just the way you like them? I ain't got time. I'm sorry about last night. I, I know I've been a bit moody lately. Here you are. Well, why don't we turn up now? No. Come on, let's just go for a walk or something. I said no. I, uh, heard about the upcoming parole. Good news travels fast. You must be feeling very confused. I'm not, actually. I know exactly how I feel. I hate the man. Hatred ultimately hurts I'm not the... in the mood for a sermon. Fair enough. Can I offer some advice, though? If you must. When I'm confused about something, I find it helps to write down my thoughts. What's the point in that? It can give clarity. Do you know what? I think you've just hit the nail on the head. Thank you. All right. I'm coming. Hello. Hello. Mr. Blackstock? Well, if I'm not, these clothes are a remarkably good fit. <laughs> I'm Georgina Lees. We spoke on the telephone. We did? About the solar panels. Ah, yeah, oh, we did, yes, of course, of course we did. Look, I, I, I'm terribly sorry, I, I was miles away. <laughs> Are you okay? You seem a bit, um, <laughs> dishevelled. Yes, I... Uh... In fact, you look like you've just woken up. Ah, uh, well, you know, um, <clears throat> big deal on the cards. You've been burning the midnight oil. Exactly. But would you like to, uh... Look, maybe, uh, maybe we should meet in the pub, uh, uh, the Woolpack, it's uh, over there, um, in, say, an hour? Um, fine. Good. Okay. okay. I'll look forward to it. Right. Morning. Post. Oh, hello, darling. Hmm. Everything all right? Well, not really. Charles has done a disappearing act. I bet you Matthew's at the bottom of this. Why don't you think that? Something he said yesterday. Oh. Oh. You look beautiful. Hmm. Happiest day of my life turned into the saddest day of my life. Uh, you wouldn't know anything about Charles's whereabouts, would you? Who, me? Oh, I really haven't time for games. I thought it was what you did best. Matthew, my mother's been through a lot recently. We all have. So perhaps if you know something about it, why don't you just tell her? I'm the foggiest. Thank you. I have to say, you've impressed me. Why is that? It's been nearly 24 hours. It's called willpower, Eric. I have it in abundance. Oh, is that so? Then how come I found these in your bag? Have you been going through my things? Never mind that. You haven't given up at all, have you? I have. This evidence suggests otherwise. That's from before I gave up. Is that true? You know me, Eric. I don't believe in telling lies. Are you sure you can afford this? Why? Well, by my reckoning, by the time you paid your staff and sorted out your materials and everything, you're not going to make much of a profit. All bases are covered. Well, pleasure doing business with you. Oh, hello, you two. Can I get your treat, Louise? Oh, no, thanks. I'm just going. Oh, another thing. You can tell Laurel.
I need a taxi. Quickly as you can. Thank you. Um, Rodney, uh, this month's takings. Ah. Have you got a sec? Uh, actually, I haven't. No. Is it important? Um. Well, I'm not sure. It could be. <laughs> Sorry, you have to wait. There we go. I just put your signature here. Uh -huh. £10,000. We'll get a delivery to you this afternoon. Cash or what? Yes, that'll be fine. You know, uh, you've really impressed me, Georgina, with this. Um, why don't I double the order? Cash? Of course. I think you'll find it's all there. Uh. You know, you look like a man who's got lots of fingers and lots of pies. Why don't we have dinner and I can tell you all about myself? I'm busy tonight. So am I. How about tomorrow? You don't believe in wasting any time, do you? You think that's a bad thing? Well, not at all. You're a man after my own heart. See you tomorrow. Dr. Neff, a word? Yeah, what is it? Well, now that Terry's back, I think it's about time we, uh, we sorted out a headstone for Dawn. Yeah, you're right, yeah. I just, look, I just need to think about Viv at the moment. I'm sure I've just seen her getting into a taxi. Yeah, you did. Where's she gone? Right, I've had a word with the Governor, Mrs Hope, and I've explained the situation. It is a bit irregular, but under the circumstances, it's it'll be okay. Thank you. Follow me, please. Eric, I've tried, but I can't do it. Oh, of course you can. No, I can't. I'm losing the plot. Oh, I keep thinking about all the lovely things I'm missing out on, like tar and nicotine and carbon monoxide. Dad, you've got a minute. Uh, why don't you go and snug your customer? Take your mind off things. Go on, Andrew. Mm. Good news. I've secured the contract at the B&B. Ah, it's just a bit of brick wall as far as staff are concerned. I was wondering if you could help me out. Uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, Penny would suit me. <laughs> No, I was wondering if I could borrow Dell. It'll only be for a couple of days, just till I'm up and running properly. No, 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 I can't, I'm afraid. Why? Because I'm short-staffed myself. Uh, no, you're not. Y you're right. I'm not. And you still want help. Uh, sorting out problems is what being in business is all about. I'm sure you think it's a thing. I want to tell you. I don't care what you have to tell me. You had your say in court all those years ago, and now I'm going to have mine. I thought of all sorts when I was in the taxi, and now I'm here. I... Well, you've got to believe... I told you! I don't want to hear what you've got to say. I'm sorry. Me and Vic. We had our ups and downs, who doesn't? But we were happy, and then he was gone. He left me with three children to bring up on my own. Have you any idea how hard that was? Some people wonder why Kelly went off the rails. I know why. One minute her father's right as rain and the next minute is lying on the floor, dead. 
you remember the last day I saw you? It was the day you gave yourself up to the police if that copper hadn't held me back. Some days, it was a struggle just to get out of bed. But I had responsibilities. And little by little, I've got my life back. I've got a husband who I love and I've got these two little cherubs. You ruined my life once. I will not let you do it again. Orienteering. I didn't know you were into that. Well, it's nothing like the great outdoors, is there? Did you fancy it? Me? Well, I managed to get a cancellation for tomorrow. Why? Because I think you kind of need to take your mind off a few things, don't you? I'm not much fun to be around at the minute. Yeah, well, like I said, I've got to give you something else to think about. Have a flick through that, I'll get a drink. Taking up a new hobby? <sighs> See how I get on tomorrow. Tomorrow? Joe's booked us on it. Um, the three of us. Not a chance. My girl guide days are long gone, Joe. Well, I thought it was what Andy needed. But if you aren't for it. Do you know what? You're right. It's a great idea. Count me in. I've got a proposition for you, Mrs. Eggleton. Sorry, love, you're too late. I'm courting. And Sandy Thomas is a very jealous man. <laughs> Take it from that. It's not my body you're after. Actually, it is. How do you fancy joining the villagers brand new cleaning company? Already got a job, love. With the villagers existing cleaning company. Whatever Laurel gives you per hour, I'll double it. <laughs> There's a word for this, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Headhunting. Gazumpy. Of course, you could offer to treble me wages, but the answer would still be no. Because Laurel is a very good friend of mine and I wouldn't like to let her down. Why the cloak and dagger? It has to be this way now, I'm afraid. Why? What's happened? Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Well, I might have known. What's he done now? He's made a complaint. What sort of complaint? About our closeness. About what? That it might have some bearing on the investigation into Tom's murder. Well, that's ridiculous. Yeah, of course it is. As if I haven't got enough to contend with. Rosemary, for the foreseeable future, I think it's going to be best for the both of us if we don't contact each other. Well... I have a little place in uh, the south of France. It's, it's well off the beaten track. Why don't you go over there for a couple of weeks? I have far too much to do here. Oh, the break would do you good. They'd just be playing into Matthew in his brother's hands. Those boys would do anything to stop me getting what Tom wanted me to have. I'm not going to let them. I've said my piece. I want to go now, please. Hang on. I, when I get out of here... What about it? My two lads live in your village. So? I want to make my peace with them. And you want my permission to come back? Yes. You don't know what that means to me. I don't care what it means to you. This isn't about you, it's about me, right? If you come back, you keep away from me and my family. Is that clear? tomorrow because seeing as you're our favorite customer we thought we'd give the B&B &B an extra good clean <laughs> you haven't told her have you tell me what David said he'd do it you've given David Metcalf the cleaning contract for the B&B yeah sorry why oh, is there a problem I mean tell me and I'll fix it no 
No, no, no. It's no problem. Well, well, why are you doing this? It's just because he costs less than you do. Did you see him? Wish I'd been there. I'd have killed him with my bare hands. What could with that have done? Made me feel better. What did you say to him? But your mum's been through enough for one day. You're gonna have a lie down, my love. Hang on a minute. I wanna know what the scumbag said. He didn't say anything. I didn't give him a chance. Well, what about when he gets out? What about it? Andy and Daz? Will he be coming to see them? Yes. I don't believe this. How's he got the nerve to come back here after what he did? Because I said he could. Ah, oh, David. <laughs> I've spoken to Louise. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, no hard feelings, eh? Oh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> Although when I'm penniless and I can't feed Ashley or Gabby or my new baby, um, maybe I'll feel differently. Have you not tried playing David as his own game? Wow! Well, I think Betty means undercutting him. Oh, how can I? We'll hardly make a profit as it is. So what are you going to do? Betty, I'm going to have to cut your hours. Oh! If you have time on your hands, you're more than welcome to join my Mozart Society. Oh. You have to believe me, Val. Solar panels are the future. You're still trying to flog those, are you? Well, they're environmentally friendly, easy to install. I don't want to burst your bubble, Rodney. But why on earth would anyone round here want to buy one? Because even in cloudy conditions, they still produce electricity. Look, look think of the positives. They're maintenance-free, they last for years. And Valerie? Valerie! If you buy one now, I'll let you have a discount. Think about it. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is how to get a cigarette without Snoop Doggy Dog collaring us. Be back to loser this time, Rodney. You'll be sorry. <laughs> ah, Betty. Mm -hmm. uh, I just overheard your conversation with Laurel. Oh, I. Right. Yeah, she was talking about cutting your hours. And I wonder whose fault that was then. Yeah. Just so you know, my office still stands. I don't sleep on it. I hear you've been meddling in things that aren't your concern. I take it you've got in touch with Vaughan? Yes, I did. Did he mention why he'd been avoiding it? You know perfectly well why. No, we both know where we stand. Why have you done this? I want my dad's killer found. And you think I don't? Who knows what you want? But all the time Vaughan was in your pocket, he wasn't doing his job properly. I've made sure from now on he will. Wait a minute. Have you seen my wedding photographs? I left them right there. Try over there. What are you doing? Sorting out the equipment for tomorrow. You've got to be prepared, you know. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Donna's coming as well. How come? Um, Kay asked her. You don't mind, do you? No, I suppose. Well, are you sure? Well, actually, I was hoping it just for me and you. Oh, is this for tomorrow? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm really nervous. You'll be fine. Well, if I'm not, you'll look after me, won't you? Look, come here. Look. I know things aren't good with us right now, but we're okay, aren't we? Andy? Yeah. Of course we are. He promised he would keep away from us. Well, if you believe that, you're stupider than I thought you were. Kelly! He killed my dad! I know what he did. I do not need reminding. So how come she's forgiven him? Well, I haven't. Well, it looks that way to me. We have to move on. Viv's right. And what would you know? Well, I lost my daughter, remember? But look at the mess that I made when Dawn died. All I was doing was hurting myself. You're nothing to do with me, so keep your nose out. Hey, don't talk to my dad like that. What's it got to do with you? You've only been here five minutes. That's enough, Kelly. No! No, it's not! You are trying to forget my dad. No, I'm not. I'd never do that. 
Never. But Vic's dead and I'm not. I can't handle this. Oh, it's going to be all right. No, it's, it's not. We have to get through this together as a family. Family? That's a joke. I thought you were on my side. This isn't about sides. Isn't it? This is about forgiveness and carrying on. You can carry on all you like. Forget my dad ever existed if you want. Just don't expect me to join you. Next on TV, Scylla is back and sparks will fly in Coronation Street. Then at 8 as forensic science grabs the public imagination, the Tonight program examines the CSI effect.